Hey everybody, Dan here, and I'm going to take you through 10 things that I think are worth a look at. First up is Earth Now, a free app from NASA, where you get to use pretty much real-time satellite data plotted onto a globe. Following this science theme, I'd like to show you iwire.org. This website, run by MIT, uses crowdsourcing and gaming to advance scientific knowledge. At their site, you have to help their artificial intelligence program map the 3D structure of neurons. From the world of the microscopic to the vastness of the universe. Scale of the universe puts everything into perspective with this really nice and easy to use website. Want to have Einstein ask your physics class a question? Use Morpho to bring 2D images to life. Once you've done that, why not head over to youtube.com forward slash edu where you can find videos that have been pre-approved for use in education. Been taking notes? When I do, I use a free app for the iPad called Paper. With a few in-app purchases, it's a fantastic way of turning those scribbles, notes, little jottings into something that look good, creative and easy to come back to at a later time and date. If like me you find it really difficult keeping up with what's new in this ever-changing world, check out the free app for iPad and iPhone called Pulse. This app ties in all your favourite blogs, websites and RSS feeds into one really nice and easy to use magazine style app. Some of you will find this programme really useful. For Mac or PC, Reflector allows you to airplay your iPad or iPhone to your computer. And then there's AirParrot that allows you to wirelessly airplay your Mac or Windows machine to your Apple TV. There is a small charge for both of these pieces of software, however their free 10 minute demo is definitely worth looking at. And finally I wanted to show you MakeEverythingOK.com Isn't that better? Thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. I'm going to include a text document that's got links to all of the different websites, apps, and computer programs that I featured in this video. Um, if you've got anything else you think you'd like to share or show, just drop me an email, let me know what they are, and I'll try and include it in the future. My next video, I'm going to look at saving things to the cloud. Dropbox, Google Drive, there's tons of them. What are they? What do they do? and what's best for you. See you next time.